Good afternoon, Oliver. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns, mate. As promised, here's a virtual tour on your 2016 Nissan Navara uh, ST, the full drive, the one sitting in front of me with 99,000 Ks on the clock. Mate, genuinely, what a car. Absolute glamour. Uh, like I said, the whole point of this is to show you through the inside, the outside, the condition. Any marks, scratches, anything I can find, I'll show you as well. Blemishes, you name it. Uh, service history, the whole work. So look, mate, we'll get into it. We'll start from the start here. So right on the uh, passenger side, we've got the front wheels. So we've got the aftermarket tough to uh, wheels on these. They just look absolutely unreal. The alloys there. Uh, I'll try and get nice and close for you to just show you how good condition they are. So even though this is a four-wheel drive, you can see those alloys are just absolutely clean as. Uh, I'll show you right into those. So obviously the mud terrain tires here, stacks of traffic left, not left on all of those. Um, I'll just show you up in there as well so you can see See behind the suspension as well. It's a little bit dusty, but it's made very, very clean uh, for a four-wheel drive. Normally, they come in with, you know, obviously the bush scratches and things like that. But this thing is just very, very tidy. So I'll just show you up on the very actual guard itself. There's a little bit of a chip there. If that's something of concern of you, we can always get uh, look at getting that touched up. But I'll just take you down the rest of the side of the car here. So a little bit of dirt and stuff from last night. We obviously get a bit of rain up here. You can see me in the background there. But obviously you've got that King's camp awning up the top there as well. Right down the sides of those. So just try and show you those side, the, the doors, how straight all those lines are. And even behind those handles, normally you get pretty common for the, the ring scratches and stuff inside the handles. Done very clean. Try and show you there, just give the handles a shade. Very, very tidy. Again, just a minor sort of chip just on the door itself there. And minor sort of chip again, just at the front there. But nothing that'll be a touch up, won't hide and seal. Across the side steps there. Uh, just while I've got you on this side, I'll open that passenger side door for you as well. So across that door trim. So again, sort of the most common areas that when the people grab their hands, it is the high traffic areas. But you can see yourself. Very, very clean. Super tidy. A little, little bit of sort of mark on there, but it's exactly what you'd expect. And even the entryway, so you can see those again. It's sort of the most common area for people scuffing their boots and things like that, but very, cl very clean. Just showing you those floor mats. So you've got floor mats the whole way around as well. Dash mats are all in there too. So I'll just lift those up so you can see up under there. Looks a bit very clean. So you've got the accessory plug up in there. There's heaps of accessory plugs and storage in these guys. So you've got the cup holders either side, accessory plugs up there. You've got them in the center console, up in the front, AUX, USBs. Um, absolutely everywhere. There's even one in the tray for you, which I'll show you too. Uh, while I've got you on this side, I'll just take you through all your books and manuals and everything are in there as, as well. But I'll just take you through your service history while I'm here. So obviously two keys, the genuine original with the central locking on both. And of course your service books here too. Now this will be uploaded to YouTube, so I can't show you the, the page with the previous owners on it. I can tell you it was a private owner though. Um, and from down south near Brisbane sort of way, Mango Hill. But I'll just skip to the actual services. Really, really good services in these. So the Navaris, you've only got to do them every 12 months or 20,000 Ks. Uh, this one's been not only done that, but it's actually had a couple extra ones as well, which is exactly what you want to see. So that first original service at 1,000, uh, looks like a 400 there at 2017. So the original one, they do. Like I said, it's every 20,000. This is just all for the in-mint ones. So then at 20,000 Ks at 2018, by four drive excellence down south. 32k, so again an intermittent one there, so North Lake, so it's all around that same area, 2019. Stamp here. So again, 2019 at 52,000, so again every 20,000 k's. I did the air filters and that as well. So mate, just trying to get to get a bit two more for you. Uh, next one at 72,000 at 2020. What's that say? North Lakes again. So I'd say by the service of history, it looks like one owner the whole way through. Uh, 90,000 in 2021, so again 20,000 Ks. A good year North Lakes. And then one through us as well. So if they're coming up due for a service, we usually get them done here too. So Coral Motors, that's our mechanic workshop at the back, so that's done by us at 99,000 Ks, um, August 2021. So that way you know everything in there is nice and fresh, nice and clean. And you know you're getting as good a car as they get. So that's all in there for you as well. I'll just chuck that back in there. Got those keys for you. So I'll take you around. Just open up this back door while we're here. So if you can't see anything in the video, it's hard to see 
because of the sunlight just let me know mate i'll get some photos through instead for you but i'll try and show you as much as i can it's a little bit of sort of wear and tear just on the inside there uh, not coming off on my finger but just a very very tiny mark there you can see the gain for um, genuinely really well looked after car so again those entryways got the floor mats right through the genuine stuff and the rubber ones too which is even better Turn that one there a little strap there too just try and get you a good, as good a view as I can of these. Give that strap to lift up the seats. And then in behind here, lift that up for you. Sorry, get my fingers under there. So a bit of storage. And then your jacks under that other side there for you as well. So, tools should be just under there too. There for you. Hard to get the camera in there. Pop those back on. Beautiful. So very clean. Even that roof. So a couple of little sort of finger marks. I've talked about details and see if we can even get those out for you. Uh, could have actually been tradies, you know, uh, looks like from the workshop or anything like that. But we'll talk to the detail and see if we can get those out for you. But again, it's all about transparency. I want you to see exactly what you're looking at. Just those lighter roofs, they always show them up a little bit. But again, like I said, mate, for a car, for a 2016 car done 99,000 Ks, it's just an absolute glamour. And that's why we try and get the, keep these cars. So a little bit of sort of wear, just a little mark there. I'll probably touch that up for you too. So i just take you across the back now. So fuel is on the passenger yeah, side cool. here too. Uh, yeah, there's an actual button for it inside to gain those tough wheels. They do look tough, that's for sure. Very clean. Let's get right across that chassis there too. So don't want to, try and, want to keep it as that transparent as I can to show you as much as I can for you. And we'll push that back. So a tow bar on the back there as well for you. Um, it is the Torno. I'll just drop this down so your reverse camera is there. It does have a keyhole for you as well to lock this up. So genuine Nissan uh, lining through that. You've actually got the top volt accessory plug there that's waterproof too. So it's got the proper cover there. But all through Nissan as well. So very cotton, very tidy that over they just pop up and back into place so they would able to do one-handed but put back onto place like that so they take across that rear bumper for you too so it looks like a seven pin flat in that one as well even across that rear tailgate mate just like I said, try and show you all those lines a little bit of a chip on the inside there not exactly what you sort of expect from the trays I've got a little bit of duct tape on the roof racks there. We've actually left it on there because it's not a bad thing if you're putting kayaks and stuff like that up there. This makes them a little bit grip grippier when you tie them down. I'll just take you down to that rear tire as well. Sorry about that, mate. The uh, battery cut out on me, so <laughs> we're just back to the car here for you. Um, back down to that rear tire again. Like I said, all very, very tidy. Right up in the suspension there too. And across the front there too. So I'll take you on the inside of these doors. Again, very, very clean. Same sort of wear and tear, just on there. It's just a little brochures that we chuck in them. So the other side's pretty tidy. And run across the front there too. So you've got vents in the back as well, which is great. Like I said, you do have those genuine mats under there, but just show you under there, so you can see how clean they are. So I'll just zoom out for a little bit, make it a little bit easier for you. There you go. Across that front one. So I'll show you all this once we get in. So a little bit of sort of wear and tear on the driver's side, on that just on that entry. And under those floor mats, that's just hooked in that side, but we'll just show you under there. And again, just a little bit of sort of wear and tear on the inside. Not exactly what you sort of expect, very tidy. I'll just take you around the rest of the outside of the car and then I'll jump in there and show you how everything works on the inside. I've just got that front tire and miles tread. Bench and everything there for you, matey. So right across the front, you got those King LED spotlights there for you. Genuine Nissan bull bar. Really well looked after, eh? So, mate, I'll just take you across the bonnet. Now, that sun is pretty hectic at the moment, so if you can't see anything in the video, you can't quite see it, let me know. I'll get some uh, photos through instead for you. 
fixed that windscreen there as well. Now I did notice there was also one little tiny, tiny dent just on the side here, right about there. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to find it. It's about the size of a five cent coin, probably a little bit smaller. It's not into the paint or anything like that. But again, I just want to try and get that on the right angle for you. It's all about being tra as transparent as we possibly can for you, matey. So I'll go around and we'll actually start it up for you too. We'll jump inside. Get some air on ground because it is a stinking hot day here at the moment. The sun's come out to play. So ignition's on the right hand side. Like I said, we do have those two genuine keys. Get some air on ground because it's stinking hot. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so you got your welcome message in there. 99,992. So just about to tick over for you. Uh, no engine lights or anything like that to be concerned about. Uh, like I said, the service history is really great. You don't have to service it again until 110,000 at the top there. You can see that reminder. Um, take you through just quickly through the driver's side here. So obviously your window controls, cent uh, central locking and window locks there, which is great for the kids. Your window, uh, your mirror controls are just there for you. So you can adjust that, as you can see there. That's beautiful. So either side, the left and right hand side, all electronic for you. Traction control option is there. Like I said, your fuel is on the uh, passenger side, but you've got the release for it there on the actual dash itself. It's electronic. You got that little button there. So I'm just going to open that for you and show you what that does. So I'll pop around to that rear window. That actually gives you access or a rear window at the back there too. So great for a bit of wind flow um, or if you need a sneaky reach anything from the back. But yeah, just a little bit of access to the tray there too, which is great. Um, up on the actual steering wheel itself, cruise control options are all on the right hand side. Bluetooth's down the bottom. All your radio controls are everything from here so you can change your volume and everything too. Your sources, so AM, FM, Bluetooth, you name it from there. And then your pages options, so you've got your full, um, fuel economy, distance travelled, uh, all that sort of stuff down here, compass, the whole works, and of course what station you're on and that sort of thing too. Uh, over here, sorry mate, my phone's about to run out of memory, so I've just got to make this real quick for you. But all touch screen, so you can flick between your radio, it does have sat nav on the button there. So you can flick that across, and you've got your sat nav options there as well. Aircon's here, four wheel drives down the bottom. So again, chuck it into neutral, and you can flick between four high, it's all going to change up here. And then four low there for you too. So you can see that engaged at the top there, traction control turns off. Uh, AUX and everything's down here, USBs. And of course you do have a reverse camera there too. And we're nearly out of time, but you do have an accessory plug. Uh, sorry, for your accessories are on the front there as well. Sorry mate, we're working with not a lot of time. I'm going to stitch these videos together for you. My phone's only giving me a certain amount of time. So we've got the driving light and accessory buttons are all down here ready to go for you. Those are the ones on the front, that's a spare. And then under here, like I said, we've got another accessory plug. So another accessory plug here up on the dash and in the tray like we were saying so absolutely everywhere in this thing for you um, i'll just quickly pop the bonnet take you around to the front but before we do get out show you the car running while it is pop bonnets under there hopefully we've got enough time here for you trying to rush it uh, get that open again very very clean and tidy mate well looked after you see yourself but mate that actually concludes our virtual tour i look forward to hearing your thoughts thank you very much